friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes in this video we are going to find out what is the discharge through parallel pipes so first i will read what is the given problem a main pipe divides into two parallel pipes which again forms one pipe as shown in figure the length and diameter for the first parallel pipe are 2000 meter and 1 meter respectively while the length and diameter of second parallel pipe are 2000 meter and 0.8 meter find the rate of flow in each parallel pipe if total flow in the main is 3 meter cube per second coefficient of friction for each parallel pipe is same and equal to 0.005 so this was the given question let us first understand the given diagram so here is the single pipe is divided into two branch pipes that is this is the pipe 1 and this is the pipe 2 and again it is getting joined so we can say that here we have to plot the given data so length for the br branch pipe 1 l1 2000 meter while diameter d1 1 meter in the same way what is the length l2 2000 meter and diameter d2 0.8 meter and we have to find out what is the discharge in this branch pipe 1 and 2 that is q1 and q2 that we have to find out now if we observe this diagram here is the initial discharge or rate of flow of water that is q now when it this pipe is divided into two parts then this discharge is also divided into two parts that is q1 and q2 so we can say that q is equal to q1 plus q2 now here the coefficient of friction for these two pipes is also given that is f1 is equal to f2 is equal to 0.005 and the value of q is also given that is 3 meter cube per second now for these types of parallel pipes loss of head are also equal so we can say that loss of head for branch pipe 1 is equal to loss of head for branch pipe 2 so we can say that here we will take loss of head due to friction so what is the loss of head due to friction in this pipe 1 so we have formula for f l1 v1 square by 2 g d1 which is equal to for f l2 v2 square by 2 g d2 now if we observe here l1 is equal to l2 so we will cancel this then 4f 4f that is also getting cancelled 2g 2g is also getting cancelled so now what remains here v1 square by d1 so d1 is 1 meter so v1 square by 1 which is equal to v2 square by d2 so v2 square by 0.8 so if we solve this then we will get v1 in terms of v2 that means we can say that v1 square is equal to v2 square by 0.8 so suppose we take the square root for both the sides then v1 is equal to v2 divided by under root of 0.8 which is equal to v2 divided by 0.894 so now this is the value of v1 in terms of v2 now we have to find out q1 and q2 so what is q1 so we know that q1 is equal to a1 v1 but now v1 and v2 are unknown and here q2 is equal to a2 v2 so we will put here the value so a1 we can calculate from the diameter d1 so here q1 is equal to pi by 4 d1 square into v1 so pi by 4 into 1 square into we will take now here v1 and v2 both are unknown so we will take the value of v1 in terms of v2 so here i will replace this v1 for v2 by 0.894 and what is q2 that is a2 v2 that is pi by 4 d2 square into v2 that is pi by 4 0.8 square into v2 now we get the value of q1 and q2 in terms of v2 now here we have formula that is q is equal to q1 plus q2 so we will put here the value of q1 and q2 in this equation first so q is equal to what is q1 that is pi by 4 into v2 by 0.894 plus q2 that is pi by 4 into 0.8 square into v2 so if we observe this q is known that is given 3 meter cube per second so when i put here 3 then this is the equation in the form of v2 so here we have to solve this except v2 so 
we can take here v2 as a common term and we can solve this so we will get v2 is equal to 2.17 meter per second now this is the value of v2 when i put in this equation that is v1 is equal to v2 by 0.894 so v1 is equal to 2.42 meter per second then from this i can calculate here q1 and q2 that is q1 is equal to a1 v1 and q2 is equal to a2 v2 so a1 is pi by 4 d1 square into v1 that is 2.42 so here q1 is equal to 1.906 meter cube per second in the same way q2 is equal to now no need for calculation here we have equation q is equal to q1 plus q2 that is here is 3 is equal to what is q1 1.906 plus q2 so what is q2 that is q2 is equal to 1.094 meter cube per second and this is the answer.